Hello, everybody. Welcome to Division S Group E round of the SMO Any Percent Tournament. Today, we have two phenomenal skilled competitors. Lodge is sitting with a 5805 and Sandwich sitting with a 5929. Division S, this is the best it gets, man. Uh, I'll let you guys know when the racers will start. Good luck to both runners. Right, just waiting for a cue for both of the runners to start, which should be in a few minutes. All right, are both racers red T? All right, it looks like they're both off. So yeah, just entering Cap Kingdom as we see. It's really cool to watch these races at a top level, seeing the pieces of movement and tricks that they do. Um, but yeah, no, this should be a fairly close race. We have a Logis with a 5805 and Sandwich with a lower 59. So, I mean, it, it's really anyone's game here. This is a very good matchup. Ooh, a little slip up on the lever. Well, I'm just going to take a little slight lead from that.
Looks like a good entry though from Sandwich. Oh, POV? Question mark. Faber Lodges? Yes, he is a minute and 24 faster. Oh, both screens are frozen. Oh, wait, Sandwich is back up. We're having slight technical difficulties, people. Sandwich going for left side. That's nice, nice. Nice left side from Sandwich. And really just a clean, overall fairly clean Cap Kingdom. We're still having some issues with Lodges. His face cam seems to be working, but his POV is frozen. But yeah, that will be... Probably both of them, I would assume, exiting. I'm going to check the stats. That should be both of them exiting cap. I'm checking the stats real quick. All right, so yeah, they're they're pretty much dead even. So yeah, clean movement with this chain chomp, and that would be both grabbing the first moon. So yeah, it looks like they're near dead sync, um, if I am not mistaken. I completely doubt it, but will we see a potential DSS? <laughs> uh, I say it every time, and it never happens. So one can only hope. Yeah, both resorting to the Dino Skip route, completely understandable. In a race setting, I mean, going for a ten seconds of time save when the runs on both sides literally could just separate so much, especially with the PB gap. You don't really need to worry about that 10 seconds in the Cascade. Go, clean Dino Skip from Lodges. And same could be said for a Sandwich. So yeah, so really the start uh, in the early game, we shouldn't see too many issues with the first few Kingdoms. Cap Cascade at this level is pretty much no problem. I mean, besides DSS, but like I said, uh, no runners uh, going to take that risk. And clean change on five from Logis. Very, very nice. And about a three second difference from both runners at the moment. So yeah, it looks like pretty, pretty even. Coming out with the multi moon. Um, yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. I'm wondering if we might see a chess clip. I'm not uh not uh positive at all if we will see one, but it would be cool. Really cool moon clip in uh in Cascade. Uh but we'll probably just see the both on the the, the cliff moon. Oh, Law just attempted chess clip. That looks clean. That should work. And Law just with Oh, Law just clipping back in, but a good up throw back up and Sandwich just avoiding the chess clip. So yeah, Sandwich will pick up a little bit of time because of that. But yeah, both runners exiting Cascade uh, with pretty similar time. What is that, a 533 from Lodges? Pretty solid. So yeah, it looks like a two-second difference from both runners. Now, here's where we're going into the Sand Kingdom, a kingdom where the time can really separate. I mean, we're talking about hard strats like, uh, you know, the, the Spin Throw Crate, the Reverse Shaxi, um, Black Clip. I mean, having a bad cycle, I mean, this is where we're going to see an actual kingdom going. <laughs> we did before, but this is like the main early game kingdom, in my opinion. Besides Wooded.
So yeah. Lodges going for the seed plant. Going for the oh, going for um reverse town. Trying to get that uh small time save. It looks like Sandwich is doing the same thing. So both runners going for reverse town. Interesting approach here. I mean at fifty eight level I can definitely see, you know, at this level I can definitely see that I uh, just I didn't really expect it in a race setting. Sandwich a little a little sloppy on the DSTA, but uh, the sea grav looked fairly fine. Gonna have a weird pipe entry, but not too shy. All right, Logis uh, about to attempt the stall for this bird. It looks good. Sandwich as well going to do it. Oh, a little bit of lag, but... Oh. Gameplay volume's very low. I think I actually have the the, the scene muted. Um, let me see. I think I have this muted. Uh, yeah, I think I do. Oh, boy. Is that... Why is this muted? Oh, there we go. I can hear it now. Yeah, it might be a little low. Yeah, it's a lot better now. It looks like, uh, oh, Law just got Dram and is going for Spin Throw Crate. Uh, sandwich attempting Dram. And gets it. Go for the Spin Throw Crate also. So yeah, we will be seeing um, Plat Clip brought by both runners, as we should. I just uh, going for this reverse Jaxi movement. Very nice, very clean. Oh, just a little bit of lag by both scenes. And uh, clean bullet building up. The lodges. See how much going for the same trick. Oh, weird cap throw. I think that's going to miss. Oh, wait, never mind. Actually ends up getting that. I didn't think that was going to work. Well, I just... This black clip cycle looks fairly good. And Law just getting black clip. Nice. It's always nice to get that clip. I mean, that is actually one of the scariest parts in sand, I feel like, um, at a top level. Or knowing what the time loss can be is missing this clip. And Sandwich also gets the clip. So, yeah, double clips by both. About maybe 10 second difference from both runners. And yeah, last moon for Logis, and that will be finishing out Sand Kingdom for Logis. See, it only looks like around a 10 second, maybe, yeah, about about a 10 second gap from both runners, I think. Oh, a missed spin pound, unfortunately, but um, fairly, fairly close in sand. I mean, that was actually a fairly solid sand by Logis. Not really any slip ups. And yeah, what is that, a 10.06? That's actually very good for a race setting. And Sandwich is going to get about a, I think that's a 20, 21, 10, 21. So yeah, I think that is a, a 10 second difference from both runners. That's actually not that bad. Now we are both both entering into Lake Kingdom. I'm wondering if we will see a successful triple jump late clip. That would be really cool to see. I do I would assume both runners do go for it. Especially at the level and how um how level lower level, a little bit lower level runners have been picking it up. Um Yeah. Clean start from Sand Lodge is going for the triple jump late clip. Uh, I don't think that works. Yeah, just by seeing his facial expression. Uh, going for Lake Clip backup. Alright, not bad. Second try. Sandwich. Will we see a successful clip by Sandwich? 
No, I think that's a little too low as well. So yeah, no triple jump late clip by either runners, but that's fine. But yeah, their late clips are about the same. Fairly clean. Sandwich version to the top. Here's actually something that I need to do. I need to get better at my uh, fish lines for Lake Clip. That's what I'd see about uh, runners at this level. Their fish lines very, very tight, very, very smooth. I just like go so wide when I try to get the pillar myself. But yeah, fairly clean uh, lake so far from Logis. Oh, oh, no, that works. Will you go for the camera clip? No, it just looks like he's just going around with the roll cancel. Alright. Yeah, so that's a uh, decent lake by Lodges and uh, Sandwich trying to finish it off. Oh, Sandwich going for the clip and gets it. And not the clip, but the camera. Not really a clip, but a camera clip. And yeah, that's both runners finishing out Lake Kingdom. Now, what will we see for the Wooded Kingdom? Wooded Kingdom has always had a reputation for ruining runners. It's is a camera clip? Okay. Yes, ruining runners. I mean, nut clip. I mean, the, the out-of-bounds movements, FRS. Anything could kill this opportunity. Deep Woods exists. Falling Deep Woods loses about a minute. So, I mean, there's a lot of potential things that can go wrong, but hopefully it goes right for both ends of the stick. All right, Logis just has entered Wooded. Clean rock and bunny movement at the start. Okay. Sam, we're just going through these cutscenes. But, uh, yeah, clean start. And uh, a big habit that a lot of people have, or at least I have. Oh, missed the bunny. That's unfortunate. Gonna have to back it up, but luckily, should know the backup. Yeah, good backup from Sandwich. Yeah, Logic's going for the tree route. Oh, get a rainbow spin. Oh, that's so managed to work. Yeah, no problems up this, uh, this nut moon. So yeah, Logist is about the lead, I would want to say 15 seconds, approximately. Maybe more. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he is going for not clip. That does look good. Yeah, that looks good. And Logist gets not clip. Let's see this out of bounds moving. Very nice, very clean. And, uh, yeah. And no problems up the ramp. Sandwich going for knock clip again. Uh, oh. I think that's two. Oh, no, never mind. Commentator's curse. I thought that worked. I was, I must have just dangled. It was just a little off. Yeah, Sandwich will have to back up with the intermediate route. Gonna lose him some time. Oh, no, an unfortunate block from Sandwich. He's going to try to back this up as Logis is grabbing the red maze moon. Oh no, another road boost. Oh no, an unfortunate uh, showing from Sandwich. Just having some problems climbing up for this backup route. Oh, uh, that looks... That looks fine. Okay, finally gets it. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, but that will give Logis more time. Oh no, another bonk climbing up to the top. To get to this ramp, and Logis is now taking a good chunk of a lead. Um, okay, going for this FRS. Wow, very some very interesting movement from Sandwich, but that was fairly clean. Nice movement from Logis. So yeah, I think that's gonna separate it from, I would say maybe a minute now. I could be wrong; it could be more. Um, but a little unfortunate. Oh, not getting the RCB, but that's fine.
And yeah, uh, clean movement. Oh, Lodge is going for the uh, the maze clip. Did not get the triple jump maze clip. That is one of the hardest clips in Wooded, folks. I'm pretty sure that's a one frame clip, I think. Someone could correct uh, me on that, but I think that's a one frame clip. Because I think Pipe's clip is two frames, but that's still an insanely hard clip. Lodge is making his way down, doing the infamous spiritless movement here. Very nice. Oh, sandwich a little bit of a slip up. Does recover though. Oh no. Okay. Still man. Oh no. Overshoots the FRS. Goes for the backups. Gonna have to camera. Yep. Set the camera up. Go for the vault. All right. Sandwich just getting really wrecked with wooded. Wooded not being so gentle to sandwich. He has to kill the piranha. Oh no. I don't think he knows that. Oh no! Oh no, Sandwich commits because he doesn't have the piranha! Oh no, and that might be a bigger time loss than before. Sandwich needs to realize that he actually needs to get the story moon because he cannot perform tree route after missing a nut clip. And I think that's going to give Logis about a three minute lead here. Or two minutes, I don't know. I added an extra minute from that moon, but I'm not sure. Until Sandwich realizes he needs to go back and grab the tree moon. Man, unfortunate. What a kingdom, man. It, it gets you. But no, that was actually a fairly clean sand from Wadges. I don't, I didn't really see any two major slip-ups from that. Yeah, leaving a, uh, what did it, with an 1803. Very nice. The Firebow moon is the backup. Yeah, the Firebow moon, uh, could be the backup here. The backup in play. I've actually seen people uh, use that backup before the intermediate route was discovered, Troy. So, um, it was a thing for a bit, but it's not really common anymore because that mistake was just, um, it's not really heard of. I think he realizes it. Oh, and an unfortunate bonk of flooded pipes as Logis is making his way to the Bowser fight. Logis going for the clip. I mean, sorry, Sandwich going for the clip. Does not get it. Unfortunate. And Lodge just gets the first fast hat. And Sandwich is really having a big meltdown in Wooded here, unfortunately, folks. He will have to get bros to tilt it on the uh... Oh, but a miss fast hats by Lodges, unfortunately. Luckily, not a big time loss for Lodges. Yeah, Sandwich realizing he has to go into the Firebro Moon. Well, let's see if he knows where the Firebro is. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah, Sandwich, you're gonna find a wrong warp soon. Don't worry. Or, you know, Lodges can die 700 times in uh, Lost Kingdom. We, we don't know yet. We will see. As Lodges just finishes out the fight. See, so, yeah, it looks like about a... About a two-minute difference from Sandwich and Lodges. Two minutes, though. I mean, two minutes in a race. I've, I've seen two minutes be made up. I mean, you got Mech, you got... A snow dram, you got just advanced Lost Kingdom movement that, you know, you can die, you got Klepto, you got plenty of obstacles that can actually make this race a little bit closer as Logis goes for the vault off Mean Tree, looks very nice, very clean. Goes for the RCB too, very nice start to Lost. A sandwich is going through Mashing to make his way to Lost Kingdom. Man, I really want to learn that movement. I don't know how to do it, but I got to learn that movement. <laughs> I really like watching these races. I get to just pick out stuff that I can learn. Within reason, of course. Especially this piece of movement. Very clean roll cancel. Sandwich getting the first fast hats. Mind you, Logis did mess up fast hat, so... Sandwich will gain just a little bit of time if he can manage to get a flawless Bowser fight. But yeah, very clean. Oh boy, a little bomb. That's perfectly fine. That's the least of Logis' worries, folks. But yeah, Sandwich going for the second fast hat. Does get the strap in it. Oh wait, no. That's not, that. that's... The... Oh, oh, had to go a little bit back. Well, just going for the cage triple. Looks pretty clean. Yes, sir. 
that will be a little unfortunate, but I think Sandwich does pick up like a few seconds, maybe five seconds from uh, Logis's Cloud Fight. I could be mistaken though. But yeah, that's uh, 2158, I think, from Logis exit wise. And Sandwich is entering Lost Kingdom. See if Sandwich get the vault. Oh, it does not go for the vault, but does go for this. Oh no, an unfortunate death and loss. Can anything get worse from Sandwich? Unfortunately, that stupid uh, return jump was not enough height to get to the very top. He's gonna go for the backup. Is he gonna go for the dot? No, he does not go for the dive vault again. Oh, will that work? Yeah, that does work. Okay. Okay, decent backup by Sandwich. Oh, and a weird attempt on a spin pound. Well, just making his way down to this awning. I really want to see if he does the uh, the movement here, because I love the Shireen awning jump. Yes, yeah, sir. I love that piece of movement so much. Sandwich going for this uh, nice roll cancel, as we see. As Logis is picking up the first minute Metro, Sandwich is about halfway done through loss. So, I mean, a, a, a fairly big gap, but it can definitely be closer. Going into second half, second half can really mess with you. I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, I've seen some horrendous meltdowns uh, in second half. So, it's still... I, I, wanna, I still want to believe that's anyone's game. Goes for the Goomba Heck, very nicely done. This is another piece of movement that I love watching. <laughs> City Hall go so well. Sandwich having to go for the unfortunate backup. Um, taking damage to the Trapedal. We'll lose him a little bit of time. Law just goes for the fur style Tyrone kind of jump thing. And does get it. Because fur popularized doing that jump, so I didn't know exactly what to say. But yeah, just a harder jump to the other side of City Hall. Interior. Sandwich not getting the deathless. Interesting. All right, Logis is setting up. This looks pretty good. He's gonna go for the setup for Giggler, and Logis actually ends up getting Giggler. So we'll be picking up about ten seconds of time save if every if this ending goes well. This is another piece of trickery in this game. I just, I really love that you can go outside of bounds here. I mean, it's, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, whoever discovered it. Uh, Props to you. I forgot exactly. I'm sorry, I don't exactly remember who did, but uh, credits to you if someone could tell me. Um, yeah, this does look pretty good. I think that uh, was a good cycle there. As long as it doesn't get blown up by the stupid tank. There we go. I've seen it happen plenty of times, so. Oh, it does miss the first one. He's going to have to back that up, but uh, nicely backed up. Actually, very, fairly clean wiggler uh, considering he missed that first shot. Um, actually one of the biggest elements of RNG in this run is the Mech Wiggler fight in Night Metro. Alright, Sandwich finally is making his way down, going for this on and jump. Does not go for the Shireen variant of the piece of movement. But uh, yeah, nicely done. Getting Gur, Gur Sandwich. Well, I just, sh just finished up Night Metro, entering Day Metro, and uh... Yeah, he will be going for the shop moon. I, I think, I think so. I mean, I, I doubt he wouldn't. Oh wow, that was a really scuffed roll cancel. That almost cost Sandwich to fall down. Um, yeah, but uh, now we're gonna see a really cool route that some people might have never seen before uh, in Metro Kingdom, at least if you're fairly new to the community. Because Giggler's not been Giggler's been out for I think half a year. I don't think it's maybe a little bit longer. Um, I think it was probably a little bit longer, if I'm mistaken, but, uh, yeah, it's been out for a while. It's actually one of the reasons where, what, why Tyrone can actually get 55 now. One of the bigger tricks. Yeah, clean, uh, clean drive-by from Wadges and, uh, good, uh, pole jam. Sandwich making his up to the Mecha Wiggler fight. And, yeah. Alright, Sam, which is attempting Giggler. Let's see if he gets it. 
Oh, unfortunately missed Giggler, so that's going to be another 10 seconds. Oh my gosh, he took damage to the Mega Wiggler. He needs to get a heart here. This is very dangerous territory. Um, yeah, he might have to... He might have to shoot all the fireballs uh, that Mega Wiggler shoots at you. Also, Will... Oh my gosh, that was so close to hitting Sandwich. Slodges is flying right now, going and entering Bullet Building. Man. Yes, we'll have to end up killing the tank to back this up. Yes, shooting all the fireballs. And very... Oh, uh, f oh no, my gosh. Slodges almost dying to the moon in Bullet Building. That was very unfortunate, um, but does manage to get back up. Uh, Sandwich just finishing off the Mecha Wiggler boss fight. See ya. Oh my gosh, and Lodge is dying into the bullet building sub area, unfortunately. That is, uh, you hate to see it, folks. Uh, but yeah, that will give Sandwich just a little, little bit of time uh, to gain here on Lodge's if he does not make the same mistake. Lodge is going for the backup again. I think he's just going to resort to the vaults. Yeah, he wanted to go for some triple jump piece of movement uh, that actually could have worked, but uh, unfortunately un overshot and ended up dying. Um, yeah, but Sandwich finally makes his way to the Day Metro portion um, while Law just works up to the top of the tower. And yeah, clean movement from Law just. Yeah, so far, I mean, besides that death, Law just is pretty good in the clear, I would say, about this lead. But, uh, I mean, it, like I said, it's... I think it's anyone's game just knowing how I've seen races go from one minute leads on someone to them being two minutes behind someone. It's just, it's just unpredictable, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, good drive by by Sandwich. And Law just going for the spin pound. Oh, and a weird, another weird attempt of a spin pound, just like he did in Lost. But uh, does manage to get the pole dram. And, uh, yeah. Clean ground pound from Law just for this last cafe moon oh wait sorry oh law just attempting reverse peoples all right let's see if he gets it nice triple jump will that make enough height there we go yeah um let's see if he gets a good roll cancel out of this yeah uh fairly clean reverse peoples room and sandwich ended up having to make it to slots resorted to the slots route as he did not get giggler so instead of going to the shop, he will resort to slots, but uh, does get the moon fairly clean. And yeah, Law just leaving, um, is that a mid-59, I think? Yeah, mid-59 exit um, out of Day Metro. So actually, um, I think Law just definitely behind his PB, but uh, still a big lead on Sandwich so far. I'm gonna check this, I want to check, check the stats again. I don't know... I have a quick question. Um, if I recheck the stats here. Oh wow, Sandwich going for the. Actually, that's a mid twenty nine. Yeah, I said mid. I said mid. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, good bullet building from Sandwich. Okay, so let me check the stats. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So, uh, Logic's only forty nine seconds behind his PB as. Uh, Unfortunately, Sandwich is two and a half minutes. So, yeah. Yeah, just globing. Oh, wait, not even globing. Just by the globe, it just says uh, 49, so. Yeah. Well, I just uh, grabbing this Captain Toad Moon, just entered Snow Kingdom. And Sandwich is going to the top, the very top of City Hall. And yeah, clean movement inside the Shiveria. And a nice clean spin pound off that uh, top of the pole. And a very, very nice uh, roll cancel piece of movement from Lodges. And Sandwich does get the bullseye. Sweet. The number one thing you have to do in this setting because of the lead that Lodges has is to not get tilted. Oh, Lodges gets the moon clip. That looks good. Yeah, so we'll get that two seconds. 
But yeah, in sandwich position, he just has to... Uh, he's probably nerve shot, and that's understandable. Uh, but you just gotta figure out how to get back in this thing, and... Uh, you know, anyone can fumble at any time, so... Not counting out any runners yet. Still too much left of the game to play. But yeah, oh my gosh, Lodge is actually leaving out three spinies. We'll have to kill that little bit of time loss there, but uh, shouldn't be enough to affect the race. And yeah, Sandwich leaving at a, what is that, a 40, a 51, 52? Uh, it was a 50. So yeah, about a two minute difference still between both runners. Uh, actually, I think it might be less than a minute, uh, two minutes. Mid to 29 cap exit. Mm-hmm. Nice factors with these Goombas. And yeah, uh, besides the spiny incident, uh, Logis has had a clean snow. We won't see an ICC attempt, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, you're not going for that dive. That actually scared me for a sec, uh, but uh, did make it by a good chunk. Sandwich talking to Captain Toad. Um, no, my gold is a 20. A 220. Without Fast Hopper, because I'm weird. Sandwich finally entering Shiveria. But uh, not not trying to curse anyone, but here, uh, you know, one of the big things I said it was Snowdram, and, uh, you know, if Sandwich fell Snowdram, I'd really suck. But, I mean, this is a chance for Sandwich to get back in this if I just does fail Snowdram. It's not big, but it's something. And any time loss that a racer takes is just one step closer for them to... Uh, to Possibly take the lead. It looks like Sandwich does get that moon clip. I could be wrong. No, he does. Okay. But yeah, never mind. Besides uh, the spiny incident, clean snow from Lodges. I'm not going to lie to Plexi. I did think that was going to fail. Um, that was a little scuffed, but I uh, managed to make it work. I meant Lodges. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Which actually, yeah. Okay, a little bit of a cleaner typhoon room. As Logis is mashing and getting ready to enter Seaside. Um, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my mic changed. No, my mic changed to my HyperX. Oh, that's uh that's my bad. Let me uh fix that. It was only like 30 seconds. Oh, I see. Oh, uh Logis does get fish and dips. Well, sandwich is ready to attempt Snowdram. Okay. Um It should be fixed. Is it fixed? Is that the right microphone? Yeah, okay, it's fixed. 
And uh, yeah, clean uh, snow drain by sandwich. All right, it's a little better. Yeah, I think uh, I have a short in my cable on my microphone, so that's what that was. It just switches to my HyperX because that's the second option that it can switch to. Which yeah, nice late clip by Logis and sandwich. Glowing, getting ready to enter to Seaside. But yeah, I mean, at this point, it looks like Logis is just a, usually just around a kingdom ahead. Uh, um, which, I mean, the big lead can still, it still be, can be tumbled. It really can. Um, uh, I think this is sub hour paced. I'm not sure. Let me check. Um, I would be a little, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, it says plus, plus 45. Yeah, plus 45. So they actually did get time save in Seaside on their PB. So that's actually awesome. Gotta love late clip 36 minutes in. Yeah. That was my bad. Sandwich going for the nice up throw movement there. And Logis has finally entered um, Luncheon Kingdom. Uh, I'm going to just assume 5805. It's a spearless, a, a spearless route because at that level, that just makes that just should seem normal. Oh, we'll have to cap though there. All right, fairly decent start though. Sandwich going for fish dip, and does get the clip, but will he clip back in? Oh, that was a little scuffed. Not saving too, too much, but uh, still does get the clip nonetheless. And Logis getting a clean spiritless jump. And now they're moon synced. So that means they're actually tied, and this is just a simulation. They're actually both in luncheon. Going for the forkless movement. Very nice by Logis. Very nice movement. I've actually seen like almost every person mess up that movement in Division S, or at least at least every race I've seen. But uh, yeah, that movement is not easy whatsoever. Too much going for a fish clip, and yeah, nice and clean. I mean, I I, did, I wasn't expecting them to miss it as it is. Oh, will be missing the uh, the moon, but uh, does just swim far a little bit up. Well, just entering, exiting slot, sorry. Oh, misses the spin pound. I think that's... Oh, wait, never mind. This is fearless. Yeah, that's... I was gonna be like, they're going for Manipolis. No, it, uh, there's no, uh... There's no Potobos. My bad. I think this is one of the coolest kingdoms to watch. Uh, actually, spear, uh, the spearless route luncheon is so fun to watch at a top level. Just the movement that they do. The fact that they don't even have to use lava bubbles. Um, this is one of the things that actually made me want to do this route. I tried it. I got like a 770. Um, sorry, I got like a 17 minute time. And uh, I had like a 140. And I remember like, I gotta go for it. <laughs> oh, it was rough. Uh, it was very rough. It's mainly that invisible block jump. I think that's so cool. And then even, and not saying at all likely, but uh, now we're starting to see slope bolts being implemented like like barely anyone but we will see it in the near future a little bit more frequently i hope um as that's one of the coolest movements in luncheon sandwich just making his start and grabbing the first moon of luncheon so yeah just a 10 moon lead in luncheon for lodges at the moment gets the golden turn up yeah the movement looks fairly nice yeah, it looks, uh, looks fairly clean. Sandwich going for the jump. Going for the spearless jump. So yeah, they're both going for spearless. Not super surprised. Oh, it does take the lava, uh, the lava hit. Uh, we'll lose him just a few seconds. And a nice movement going to the shop. So yeah, I think it's again, like... The similar oh boy oh my goodness 
Little slip ups on this forklift movement. Oh my gosh, another cat bounce eaten. Or I think it was just like a wall stall or something. Unfortunately, not working out for Sandwich. Uh, I would not uh, be able to perform the forklift movement, but uh, that isn't the end of the world. As Logis is attempting the infamous invisible block jump. That looks good. Vector looks nice. Very good. That was actually a single block. It was a little, little, little scary looking, but uh, yeah. Oh no! Oh my gosh, will we see a backup? No, we cannot see a backup. Unfortunately, could not run up the wall because of the fact that they burned too far away from the wall. That is going to take a death from Logis, and that is actually going to give Sandwich just a little bit more time. Uh, and oh my goodness, Logis fumbling a little bit. Oh, and another bonk. Just ain't having it for this piece of movement. I'm telling you, those crates in his way. Sandwich going for some weird roll cancel. I'm interested what that was. Logis does get the invisible block jump again. He's just going to uh, back it up. Still has a big lead, but um, does give Sandwich just a little bit time. About 30 seconds to catch up. I think that was around 30 seconds. And we have this room. I mean, I don't know how often top runners die in this room, but this is another potential time save. Oh my gosh, another booty burn. Logis just not having this second half of luncheon. The game is just being mean. And clean forks by sandwich. Very, very nice movement from Sandwich. So yeah, he will be grabbing the golden turn up as the Logis is going for the, uh, as a quick little bonk there. It shouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, this second half ending for luncheon has not been kind to Logis. Um, there we go. Um, but, uh, fairly, fairly good, uh, Last final moon of luncheon. Sandwich throws the turn up. Will that hit or will that miss? No, that does hit. So yeah, leaving luncheon still under 44 minutes, which um, is still, I think, a sub hour will run. I have to look at the stats again, but uh, still, still, um, still in this. Yeah, so a minute and 27 behind their PB. Their BPT, though, is a 59.23. So, I mean, they are still have a sub hour will run while that is literally a few seconds faster than Sandwich. So, um, not looking good for Sandwich, but there is still more time save potential. I mean, the chances, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it every time. It, it's never going to happen. But, uh, I mean, you get a ruined death. I mean, that... There you go. <laughs> a ruined death will get you the lead, or at least close to the lead. So, like, but it has to be like a very, it has to be like a very, it can't be like a very quick ruined death. It has to be um like the last phase to even really do much. Um, but yeah, but because of the time, oh my gosh, sandwich going to have to back up this. Does back it up though trying to prevent falling into the lava. Actually, Law just did mess up trying to grab that moon with the Spearless Sprout earlier. So that is the time that Sandwich gained after the second half of lunch and went for Law just. Law just does get the first phase of the Ruined Dragon. Should not be a problem. We should not see anything go wrong in this fight. Do they grab the Hintart or is their run invalid? Do they grab the Hintart? Still not grabbing the Hintart. Looks like they're coming back around. Are they going to grab the hint turret? No, they are not grabbing the hint turret. So that is a DQ. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the Captain Toad hint turret, it's just, it's just required nowadays. You just have to get it. I mean, it's, it's Captain Toad. Like, they got, come on, guys. I mean, we'll see if Sandwich invalidates his run as well, Zach. Uh, we will see. Does grab the extra heart. One heart, a little scary there, but uh, does grab the extra one. Um, just still, still ignoring the Captain Toad hint art, showing that disrespect to the beloved figure, um, and the legendary Toad. <sighs> Toad just, he just, he puts up with crap all the time. Toad abuse in Super Mario 64, and now this? 
What's next? Sandwich finally exiting luncheon. A little sloppy, but still gaining, like I said, a little bit of time on Logis as Logis is grabbing the multi moon entering, getting ready to enter uh, the Bowser Kingdom, second to last kingdom of the entire run. Um, unless Logis does, uh, unless he goes and does a dark side run, I don't think. I don't think that this is going to uh, be a win. I think he has to do the dark side run for the memes. By the way, if anyone gets the joke, uh, that's my favorite category in this game. People, they get stupid that I say it. I think it's my favorite category. I love dark side. It's fun. Some people say it's not enough post game. Some people say it's little post game. Um, but I love the category and uh, I hope to get a 4x real soon. So yeah, Logis exiting Ruin Kingdom as Sandwich is entering it. So yeah, about a th about a two and a half minute difference uh, from both runners. Still manageable though. Still manageable. I mean, I, I saw, I did see a big meltdown on Bowser Kingdom uh, in Division S. Will he grab the hint cards? I'm actually, I, I I didn't see. I didn't see if he did. I don't think he did because the coin count. Does get the first phase on Dragon. Will he validate the run and take game? Uh, take this game if he does get the hint heart. Still not trying to go for the hint heart. Going for the cap stall. The OG cap stall on the wall. Try to avoid these uh, these phases. Oh, clean start uh, by Logis, by the way. Very, very nice. I love that movement so much. The spin pound on the, uh, on the ogre. And yeah, second phase done for Sandwich on the rune fight. So yeah, big, big lead on Logis' part. But, I mean, you have mech. You have bunnies. You have tons of things. You you can have a lot of time loss come very, very quickly. Just out of nowhere. Heck, I've seen someone lose 40 seconds to Bowser Dream before. I don't think it was in this tourney, but in one of an older tourney. And that could be enough to give sandwich a possibility here Logis well, does go for new shards so we're gonna see this movement all right nice go for the die back goes for the roll cancel goes for the triple jump very very nice does he go for the birdless i would assume he does yeah it does actually attempt it and does get the birdless strap very very nice very nice bunnies from lodges this is actually very very good so far And yeah, Sandwich just finished fighting the Ruined Dragon fight. So yeah. <laughs> Logis goes for the Bowser Dram. And nicely done. As Sandwich is finally getting ready to globe. Oh my gosh, an unfortunate death from Lodges. That is a very random death. I actually saw it like of like two seconds. I think it was around two seconds before that death was going to happen. I mean, I literally saw it. I was like, this is really far to the right. Oh my gosh, another weird dive. Um, still not going to do much to the, the lead, but uh, time save on Sam's part. Uh, Sandwich's part, nonetheless. Okay, we will see a star bomb attempt. Very nicely done. More points for Sam. <laughs> Sam's coming back. Lodge's death. Yeah, guys, that death did lose about three minutes. Unfortunate to see Sam, which is slowly pulling this lead back. Oh, a little bit of sloppiness on the ogre, but it doesn't look too big of a deal. And Lodge is about to finish off the Harriet. If Sandwich does go topper first, he will unfortunately invalidate this run. I don't know if he goes for topper or Harriet first. I'm not exactly sure. I feel like Sam should lose points like minus 60. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, I understand, Mitch. We will make sure that happens. I mean, at this rate, I don't know, man. It might be even more. <laughs> 
but uh, still not. I'm still going to say that as a believer in any race, it is not over until it is over. The Lodgers can die and escape two times. Lodgers could die to going for two DSS. I doubt he's going to go for it, but if he does, you know, there's just so much potential for the race to go so poorly near the end. I've seen huge leads that have ended up being took in last second. So I really am not going to count out. I think I've even seen a deep woods death, a death and a deep woods in wooded and still ends up getting the lead. I think that was division indeed to be fair. So I don't think I really have any room to talk. I'm actually, that was a very clean bunnies. I want to see what the bunnies split was. Um, for, uh, let's see if I can see, let me see if I can see that. Yeah, okay, so mid and 49 behind Logis' PB, still BBT of 5948, so Logis can still, with a very good ending, can sub-hour this run, which which would definitely, definitely destroy Sandwich, but uh, Sandwich entering bunnies. Yeah, Nicely done. Nicely done, Sarabamba from Sandwich. And Lodges entering the mech fight. Here it is. This is the big, the big ch choke point in this run. If something happens in this fight, it could be the possible chance of Sandwich getting back into this race. Let's get the nice topper acquired. I'm not looking so good, folks. I think Lodges is kind of popping, popping off on this mech. I'm, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to, to try to give uh, Sandwich hope. <laughs> really trying. But uh, there's a big difference between number 5 seed and number 12 seed, to be fair. Little, little extra Mitch, don't you think? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did <laughs> someone ban Mitch? <laughs> oh boy. Isn't he mod? I I, I don't know yet. I thought, he, I thought he was mod. No, he's just verified. Oh my gosh. Is that timed out? Is that... And that is a Mitch timeout. I think that is. I don't know. That's crazy, bro. Logis finally finished off the mech. Very clean mech from Logis. Sandwich is now going to try to figure out and probably reevaluate his life choices on how he's going to find this wrong warp so he can win this game. Uh, yeah. It comes down to the BLJs. <laughs> wrong game. Actually, no, for Logis, it comes down to the... To, it, com, it comes down to bits, man. It comes down to bits. Ooh. Get some shade. Mitch is really talking crap right now. Oh, my goodness. Can I get a cap in chat? Sure, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do you a favor. No, actually, Sandwich is winning. We just reversed the screens for fun. Isn't that right, Blip? <laughs> and Sandwich actually is the one with the 5805. Who would have known? I mean, I mean, it makes sense knowing that uh, Logis is this far behind. Oh no, Sandwich falling on Meg, unfortunately. And that may be GG's, folks. Sorry, not may. It probably is, but I still have to be a little bit positive about that one, folks. It's hard to do that. Um, I, I just can't take this seriously. I'm done. I'm sorry, but I'm done. I'm done. Logis is probably going to take this game. At this rate, unless Logis dies in bits or uh, escape about 500 times, or if he whips out a Super Mario 64 and does a 16-star run, there is a chance that Sandwich can win this game. 
He can still get points if within five minutes. Yeah, he can still get points. Um, which I think is his best bet here because... I mean, it was a clean TA, so... Oh my gosh! The commentator's curse galore! Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> I, why, why do I have to talk, dude? Now it's now it's over, dude. Sandwich is never gonna forgive me from that one. Oh my goodness. That is a commentator's curse right there. Unfortunately, missing TA eventually backs it up, but now Logis is entering the fight in Moon Kingdom. My god, I'm a douche. Ban the commentator. Wow, I can't believe you do that. I know, guys. It's over. It's over. I, I literally... Sandwich couldn't have lost so badly and then falls off back. Like, it just... It's just over. That's a good question, Blip. I, I have no idea. <laughs> um... Yeah, Sandwich does finish off mech as Logis is trying to finish off the Bowser fight. It comes down to escape. You can die in pillars. You can go for 2DSS. Um, hey, Logis, how about you go for uh, double jump uh, 2DSS for the, uh, to, to, uh, to even this plane field out, you know? Or how about you go for six jumps instead of seven? Or just cl clawless, whatever you call it. Just go for the hardest type of 2DSS just to... Let my boy, uh, you know, slowly catch up. Oh my gosh, I missed fast hat from Lodges. That should kill the sub hour, folks. That does kill the sub hour. No Nicro Vita sub hour. Oh my gosh. Cap is on the edge. Swipe less easier than with swipes. Oh, actually. I, no, pro pro, I don't believe you. Because you do like the dumbest crap at your level. I'm going to tell you. I mean, I, maybe not your level. Because your level's good, but your consistency is not great. Easy for you. Yeah, well, that's the, that's the standard right there. Yeah, if it's easy for Pro Pro, it's easy for everyone. You know, that's just how it works. Like, 2DSS. 2DSS is like a 0.5 trick jump. Right, guys? <laughs> a ver it's called a vertical. New trick jump discovered. Vertical. <laughs> or, or, or Bowser vertical. The only Bowser vertical trick jump. The only trick jump you can do with Bowser. Alright, Logis uh, does just finishing out. Will we see a 2DSS for the fans, or will we see a um, a baby move here, knowing the lead that uh, Logis has? And I think Logis is just going to take home game... Um, well, not game one or two or three, because... You know, it's we're not we're not doing best out of three here. I You guys don't have time to listen to me for three hours. You really don't. So, uh... Yeah. You guys just physically can't do it. So, yeah. Sandwich does attempt uh, the moon skip. But on a bright side, I get to commentate a race where both runners show their screens, you know? Instead of black screen living up to his name. <laughs> sandwich, imagine just Sandwich is like, yeah, I'm just gonna play Fortnite. Finish, screw this race. <laughs> right before he finishes it. And Law just... Pretty first clean pillar. Um, oh my goodness. These pillars are nuts, dude. Even though they're not that cool, they're cool for me. And that is going to be Logis. Unless he pulls an Alpha Rad, there is no way in the world. I mean, no, just jump off. Just jump off of the fans. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> no, no, he won't do it. He doesn't have the guts. Yeah, understandable. Just finish it off. The well, just doesn't seem too happy with that run, but that is a very big win on Logis's part. Damn, comeback starts now. Here it is, man. Come on, Sam. Which you can discover a trick that uh, saves time and takes time off the clock. Surely, surely. <laughs> No, 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 Zach doesn't go for the, the, uh, the Alpharad strats. Doesn't do it. <laughs> what if Violet from the Incredibles actually called Gorilla Monkey Man? <laughs> what a random ass question. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. 
And yeah, Sandwich is taking... Actually, wait, guys, I told you, roles reverse, actually. I, 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 I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, we actually flipped the screens. So, Lodges is getting killed, and Sandwich is taking on the victory. I didn't think uh, Sandwich actually knew the screens were flipped. Um, they actually also switched controllers, too. So, uh, yeah, that is a GG's for Sandwich. As Lodges is finishing up... Um, he is finishing up uh, the final escape sequence. Um, and yeah, that's a game. That's a game match for for uh, for sandwich. Still not yet defeated. And as uh, sandwich is just going around, just celebrating his win in Mushroom Kingdom, doing some weird trick jump shenanigans. Lodges does not even go for the two DSS. Double no two DSSs. Um, that's pretty crazy. All jokes aside, unfortunately, taking a death in escape, and that is going to call it even more. I don't even know if Sandwich is going to finish. I think he is going to finish. He's going to at least finish a run. Not even bopping um, yours truly, unfortunately. That's not, uh, that's not a good way to go out. Uh, but still a better runner than me, nonetheless. I just... Dude, guys, I would have got a 107, to be fair, if I played this. Um, but if it wasn't for the mech, uh, the mech jinx, he had a chance, you know. So, uh, there we go. Logis just playing it out, just taking the win, showing that he is the better runner, and a sandwich just trying to finish out this. What seems to be about a 104, maybe not even. Um, what time did Logis get? Logis uh, did get a 100. Here, let me check on the stats. It was a. Um, oh yeah, a 10013, which is actually pretty good for uh, for a no reset. Plus two minutes. It's not good for Logis probably, but it's it's good compared to uh, Sandwich's PB because Sandwich would have had to play like less than a minute off PB to beat that. So yeah. Yeah, Sandwich gonna try to finish out with a 104. <clears throat> Unless he has Tyrone level pillars. But yeah. Um... Oh my goodness, a missed jump. And uh yeah, Law just just not not doing the alpha registrat. I mean he could have he could have been a little bit more um, sportsmanship from there, but uh, yeah, both Fortunately, Sandwich taking a loss, but uh, great effort nonetheless. Just a few things slipping up uh, near the end of this race. But uh, besides that, it, I mean, besides uh, the start, uh, what did, it was pretty good effort from Sandwich. I mean, did pick up some time uh, in parts in late game, but uh, unfortunately um, did not perform today. Law just does take this victory. GG Sandwich, uh, G <laughs> GG Sandwich and GG's Law just for the win. So, um, yeah, if y'all want to hop into the uh the uh, the interview booth i guess we can call it just want to say some things and uh you can if you want to do an interview But yeah, that's going to be a big win for Logis. All right, Logis says he's good. Let's see if Sandwich wants to interview. GG, Logis, though. That was, a, that was a fairly good run for you. And uh, Sandwich is good. All right. Okay, no interviews for Bible Runners. Well, I think that's going to be it, folks. That is uh, going to wrap up um, the... the uh, the Division S Group E match. Uh, thanks. Uh, uh, shout outs to uh, Blip for doing such an amazing job for keeping track of stats and restreaming this uh, tournament. But that is going to wrap up the first, um, or the second, actually the second race of the day of the SMO 80% tourney. So yeah, I, um, Sam would like to, no, he's not fine because he's been thrown into a pit of lions. Oh no. Um, RIP Sandwich. We will prage. 
Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out the runners' channels, uh, phenomenal racers, by the way. Um, Crunchy does put the comms or the uh, the runners. But yeah, if you guys want to check these guys out on their Twitch, as you see, link in the description. If you want to check me out, um, I try to do I try to speedrun the game. I have a, a 101, but uh, I'm still not still not there yet. I, I have I have room to improve. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. And thank you so much for letting me commentate this. I will say this is very, very hard to commentate when no one is, when no one's talking to me. So I, it's just, it's just, it's just me. But uh, single calm, I did my best, and I appreciate this opportunity. So everyone have um, a good rest of your day, and uh, good luck to the next race. I'm, let me check the next race. Actually, let me let me check it real quick. The next race is going to be uh, Division S Group F against Spezzy and. Lebati, so two uh, two top runners um, in Division S, so that will be the next race coming up. But anyways, not to stall, not to do this, um, but uh, yeah, tremendous job for bus runners, and uh, I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.